Hey guys, welcome back to Single Lane School. I'm Craig, and as you know, we're always talking about how to golf smarter, not harder here at Single Lane School. Well, it's the holiday season, and at this point, most of us have already opened up our gifts, and a lot of us probably have a bunch of gift cards that we're trying to figure out what we can buy, and if you're a diehard golfer like me, how you can spend that when it comes to your golf bag. So we're gonna take a look at what you can use those gift cards for that I think you'll really enjoy in your golf bag. All right, everyone, as always, if you haven't yet done so, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the notifications bell right beside it, and give us a big thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget, you can find Single Length School on social media at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and singlelengthschool.com is our website. So we're talking gift cards. And a lot of us have gift cards that we get for the holiday season, whether it's Hanukkah, Christmas, uh, Kwanzaa, whatever the holiday is at this time of year. And I'm always one that's on the lookout on how I can best spend those gift cards and what I'm going to enjoy spending them on. So I'm going to take you through my bag, show you what I have that's low end that you can use a gift card, a low end gift card, you know, 25, 30 bucks on. Uh, if you guys got a couple hundred dollars, I'll show you some of that stuff as well. And the other thing I'm going to do is everything I show you, I'm going to link down below in the description so you guys can go purchase it with your gift cards. So let's dive into my bag. So for this, when we're looking at gift cards and what you can buy, we're going to start at the higher end items. So guys, if you've got a little bit of buildup in gift cards and uh, a couple hundred dollars worth. These are some great items for you guys to put into your golf bag. The first thing, and you guys hear me talk about it all the time, is the Super Speed Training Set. This is great to help you build up your speed. Uh, there's three clubs in the base package. There's an additional fourth club called the C Club, which trains your hands. And then you also have the optional launch monitor, the PRGR monitor. Um, you guys the links down below for all these products, not just this product. You can go check them out. Uh, you can package all of these items together in the super speed set, or you can buy out individually the three club set, the single club, or the launch monitor. Um, the sets can run anywhere from $200 up to about $400 or even $500 if you include everything you see in the picture. Next, we're going to take a look at range finders. Range finders are another great thing that you can buy for a couple hundred dollars. They're perfect for finding the distance. If you guys haven't yet seen it, I'm going to link up above in the little box that's going to flash out now my thoughts on range finders versus GPS. These are great tools to have in the bag. They give you the exact distance to the pin. Perfect if you have a couple hundred dollars in gift cards. Now we're talking some mid-range stuff. And of course, golf balls are always a great thing to pick up with some gift cards. For me, I personally find I need about eight to nine dozen to get me through the season. Um, currently, my ball of choice is the Vice Pro Plus. What I like about the Vice balls is they're a direct to consumer, which means you order online, they ship to you. They have their own ball recommendation software system on their website. So based on how far you hit your clubs, your current ball, and your ball flight, it will recommend a ball for you. The Pro Plus is the one that was recommended for me. If you catch them at the right time, you can get five dozen at $25 a dozen, or normally they're about 32 to 33 bucks a dozen. Now, I will tell you the only thing with Vice is they come from Germany, so they take a little bit longer to come in, but they are a great golf ball and something that you should think about putting in your bag. From golf balls, we dive into this little tool. And this might be my favorite thing in the bag. This is the Burdicorn Divot Tool. And so as you can see, I've got two of them with an extra custom coin, a four leaf clover coin, um, ball markers, so to speak. I had one of these before and I left it out on the course and it almost brought me to tears. These are my favorite ball markers and divot tools that I've ever bought. 
Um, they run about 20 bucks, but they're more than just a divot tool. They have the ability to allow you to mark your line. They have a bottle opener. They have a club rest. Um, they're just a great all around tool and a nice utility tool to have in the bag. And the best part is the prongs for the divot tool actually double as a groove cleaner. So when you get a lot of dirt and mud in the grooves of your wedges or any of your clubs, you simply pull this out of your pocket and clean them out. So a great product for about 20 bucks. Again, the link to all these products is down below in the description. Another thing every golfer needs in your bag is tees. And with these tees, we're gonna to start to get into some of the um, mid to low end items here that, you know, if you've got a 20, $25 gift card, these are the items that are perfect for that. Uh, these tees, as you guys know, I'm a big believer in Champ Key Golf Grips for the simple fact that they're cheap and I find them just as high quality as the big name brands. Well, Champ Key also offers tees and they come in a variety of models, lengths, uh, just like any other tee manufacturer, but I play the three and one quarter inch plastic tees. You can actually get them in this cup. Um, they run about eight bucks. And what's great is the tees have the little length lines to let you know how far you're going into the ground. The only downfall to these tees is those lines wear off. Aside from that, I mean, you get a thing, your container has about um, 100 tees or so in there. I don't think I went through 50 all of last season because they're plastic, they're really durable, they don't break. The only way I lost them was losing them off the tee. So another great item to throw in your golf bag with that gift card. Of course, every golfer needs some gloves. And what I love is the selection of gloves that are out there. And believe me, I've tried just about every glove out there. There are some great deals on six packs on Amazon. Um, they're decent quality, they're not high quality. So I've opted to continue and keep in my bag these FootJoy Weathersoft gloves. And the great thing about these is you get these in a two pack for 20 bucks, so about 10 bucks a glove. Considering how much I play and how much I'm swinging and how much I wear the glove, I find a glove lasts me about a month, which when you figure I'm swinging upwards of 50, 100 times every day, not counting my rounds, these gloves really do the trick. So these Weathersoft gloves, great, love them. They also come in some severe weather rain gloves, but I've got these linked down below for you guys to go check out. The two pack is the way to go. Next is a valuables pouch. As you can see, I've got a Callaway one here. Um, I, I'll link another one down below in the description, but a valuables pouch is really nice. For you guys, that are in a cart and get frustrated with the fact that your keys are bouncing around, your wallet's bouncing around, your phone's bouncing around. And sometimes if you're going up a hill and hit a bump, they fall out of the cart, out of the little cubby. I find having the valuables pouch is an awesome way to keep everything in one place, your wallet, your keys, your phone, any other important items you throw in a valuables pouch. They're really inexpensive, they're nice to have. Some of the ones clip onto the golf bag, other ones just tuck into a pocket. Great option to make sure your keys, your wallet, and all your important items are in one spot and safe together. This next item is actually a really cheap item, but it's a great item to have, especially when you're showing up for around a couple minutes before your tea time. Now me, I like the super speed golf sticks to warm up, but Sometimes I get to a course and I don't have the time to really warm up the way I want to. This is a swing weight. Think of it as a baseball bat donut for your golf club. You slide it down over the grip, down to the base. It adds some weight, allows you to warm up in about 10, 15 swings, really quick, really easy, and tucks away in the golf bag. The best thing is they're under $10. So really cheap option and a great thing to have in your golf bag. Next is part of the cleaning options for your golf clubs. And this takes it a little bit further, but this is actually a groove sharpener for your irons. 
What does it do? Well, it's got the metal handle and it's a little hard to tell in this picture, but at the end of the handle is a star tip. Um, each tip has a different uh, tip on it to sharpen your grooves. Now, you have to be careful if you're sharpening your grooves and you're playing in tournaments, there are certain regulations you have to follow set, for, set forth by the USGA and the RNA. But I don't really sharpen my groove, so to speak. I use this to really get in there and clean out all of the dirt specks. So these are a great thing to have in the bag. They come in a plastic container because the tips are very, very sharp. Now, if you do find that you wanna sharpen your grooves a little bit, it's really simple to do. You just split, you just spray a little bit of WD-40 onto your club face, take the groove sharpener, run it through the groove once or twice, and it's gonna resharpen that groove. So it has a dual purpose. Get all that dirt out, and if you need to, sharpen and reshape those grooves on your clubs. Next, again, another cleaning item. And there's something that every golfer needs, and it's a golf brush. This is your typical standard two-sided golf brush with a little groove cleaner. I don't really use the groove cleaner. I go back and use the groove sharpener to really get in those grooves and clean them out. But when I wash my clubs about once a week, or sometimes if I'm in an event, I'll wash them every night. Even on the course, if I find a lot of mud or something, I'll pull out the brush. This one attaches quick to the golf bag. There are a couple bucks. If you're someone that wants to keep your clubs clean all the time, you need to have your own golf brush. Another item everybody must have, and as you can see by the picture, mine gets a lot of use. It's due to go into the washer now that we're in the off season, is a golf towel. They clip onto your bag, keep your clubs dry, keep your clubs clean, and anytime you wash your clubs, obviously you wanna get all the residue off. So having a golf towel or two is a must for every golfer. And the final item you guys can buy, and it's for those of you that really wanna dial in your game and understand what's going wrong, is a tripod for your phone. Tripods like this one are quick, simple. It takes two seconds to set up, throw my phone in it, and I'm ready to film. When I'm on the range, this is the tripod I use. When I'm out doing my course vlogs that you guys see, this is the tripod that I use. Because of its simplicity and its size, it simply fits in the pocket of my golf bag. It's great for you guys that want to tinker, want to review your swing, want to see what everything looks like and where your faults and flaws are. So that's going to do it, guys. As I said, everything's linked down below in the description. You can go buy yourselves whatever you see in here using those gift, gift cards from the description below. And let's jump into our wrap up. All right, everyone, I hope diving into my golf bag gives you some ideas on where to spend those pesky gift cards and get something that goes in your golf bag. So again, guys, if you like the video, like the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. Follow us on social media and don't forget to check us out, singlelengthschool.com. If you guys have any questions, by all means, send me an email, singlelengthschool at gmail.com. And as I said in the beginning of the video, all the products that we talked about in my golf bag, they're linked down below in the description so you can go purchase them with that gift card you've got. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching and keep it in the fairways.